Okay, what we're going to do is construct a triangle that is 8 centimeters, 10 centimeters, and 11 centimeters, and we're going to find a thing called the in center point, and I'll explain what that means when we get to it. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start with one of the sides just measuring it on my ruler. So that's 11 centimeters. So that's the easy bit to get. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my compass and I'm just going to check that I've got my compass set to 10 centimeters. There we go. Point to point is 10 centimeters, which is what I want. So I'm going to go to one end of my 11 centimeter line and I'm going to draw myself an arc roughly where I think I'm in danger of needing it. And you know what? I hope I'm right. I might just draw it a little bit longer just because it's a pain to adjust this thing if I'm wrong. So that's my 10 centimeter one sorted. So 11 centimeters sorted, 10 centimeters sorted. Now I need eight centimeters. So I'm going to go back to my ruler and I'm going to tighten this up till it gets to eight centimeters. Now I need this to be exact. So that's not quite exact. There we go, eight centimeters. So what I'm going to do is go to the other end of the line and have an arc for what is eight centimeters away. And Happily, those intersect. So, now, that means that I go from this corner, so this one's 11 centimetres. I go from corner to corner here, or up here to the intersection, and I know that's got to be 8 centimetres. And I know that this has to be 10 centimetres, because that's what I measured it at. There we go. So... Now, it's a little bit off because of my compass is not great, but, um, but you know what, there's always going to be a little bit of human error. So what I want to find is the point in the middle that will be the middle of the largest circle we can fit into this space. That's what the in-centre point is. Now, I'll show you how to find it. This is the kind of amusing bit. So I'm going to tighten this up a bit because I actually don't want particularly big arcs here. I'm going to do one from the corner there. There we go. And we've, you've probably seen this before where we're bisecting the angle. So what we're doing is we're, we're halving that angle. And here we go again. So that's going to give me that line, but I'm not going to draw that in for now because I don't want to complicate things. I'm going to do it for another one of my angles. So I'll go here, make my construction marks. There we go. And I could do this for the third angle, but I actually don't need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill in these bisecting the angle and run it out. And I probably should do this in pencil because it is a construction mark. So I run it out and this one I run out again. And what I'm looking for, aside from the dog scrambling at the door, is where those lines meet. That is the in center point. I run those lines out from bisecting the angle. And what I can do with that in center point, just to prove that it is what I say it is, is open up my compass, put it on there, open it up till it reaches a line. And now I can draw a circle and it will be the biggest circle that I can fit in that space. So there you go, that's what the in-centre point means, and that's how you construct that triangle.